Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Starline Spam 839 coming to you guys with an OGG Model Report update. Um, so, I haven't done a Kahoo Louie update in, I think it's a couple months, so I just decided to make another one um, after the IAD one. So, as you can see, this is the standard Gemini Jets mat uh, going with the Gemini Jets terminal, obviously, um, the airside terminal. I've also added in a, another terminal from the original terminal set that I do have. So, um, just just because it adds space, and then I can still keep the same mat with just one runway, um, but also adding a couple more aircraft. So, um, I guess I'll just get started with the update here, and I do have one new model in here, which does not currently service OGG, but I just decided to put it in here to see how it blends in with a Hawaiian airport, um, just because it currently services to H&L. But anyways, um, I'll talk about some more stuff at the end of the video, and I'll just get started with this update. So, um, over here we have an American 757-200. Um, this aircraft will be doing a flight to LAX, and I don't think, I think they do a flight on the 763. Um, I did go plane spotting at OGG, so I do know a couple of the aircraft, um, but they do do a 763 flight from Dallas directly to OGG. I'm not sure if that's like a seasonal flight, but um, anyways, I don't have one. Um, Hawaiian A330-200 aircraft will be doing a flight to Los Angeles as well. Um, how about the 737-800? This aircraft is heading out to SFO. LAX bound 757-200 United, no winglets. Um, moving on with the Hawaiian 717 aircraft will be doing a flight to Lihu or Gemini Jets Flyers Airport um, with a Z. Uh, he just, I guess you could say recently he made a recent route with, sorry, he made a recent route with me. Um, I think it was maybe a month ago um, where we do a flight from OGD to LIH, which is Lihu in the island of Kauai. Um, in Hawaii, so I just made a route with him, and it's on the Hawaiian 717. Uh, I do need a couple more 717s. Um, I know the Hawaiian aircraft are kind of going a bit slow, but um, I will talk about that with the aircraft that I'm going to be getting soon, and stuff like that at the end of the video. Um, moving on with this 763 Hawaiian, um, with the blended winglets, aircraft will be doing a flight to Oakland, and a 737-800 Hawaiian Laytail aircraft will be doing a flight to Seattle, Tacoma, or actually I'll say Portland um, with the Hawaiian Laytail on that one. Um, you got a 767-400ER, this is the new aircraft, but obviously like I said it doesn't fly to OGG. Um, I doubt it ever will, but um, anyways we have this 764 and I'll just say this aircraft is heading over to Houston um, just doing a test flight to see how it um, goes in OGG, or Hawaiian Airport basically. Um, over here we got a Delta 757-200 Sky Team livery, and this will be heading out to Los Angeles as well. And also we have an A330-200, um, another one in this aircraft will be doing a flight to Seattle. So, um, that's essentially every aircraft in this video. Um, you can say that this airport is not, it's kind of relatively realistic. You can see I've got probably the main terminal, um, that's a bit unrealistic on that side. But I simply didn't have the space. If you're going to do this kind of mat setting, then you do have a limited amount of space. Um, you can see that I've obviously gotten some more space over here. Um, there's barely enough room for a taxiway there, but you know, uh, I did try to make it work as best as I can. And you can see that I've also included a bunch of GC, uh, sorry, GSC on the aircraft. Um, just show you some examples here. Baggage loaders, definitely on this aircraft. A um, bunch of stuff going on here. So um, I hope this does look very nice. And please don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Um, it, well, actually, just please leave a comment um, if you want any, if you can give me any suggestions on stuff I should add to the airport. Um, you can see I've already got trees on the top of this, obviously. Um, I know it might, you know, it's not exactly the same terminal, but I just, I just did want to add that so I could have more space um, for the entire airport. But um, moving on with some of the aircraft that I'm planning on getting, at least. Um, like I said, I, I, in the channel update, if you haven't seen that yet. Um, I do have a couple more aircraft on order. Currently I have, I believe it's eight aircraft in total um, coming from different places that are currently I have on order. So those should be coming, I guess, within the next month or definitely this month if I, um, if Aviation Retail Direct can send me, I believe it's three models, um, I hopefully will get this month. And then in October, um, I'll get a couple more. But um, I'll talk about the October trip when I when it's basically coming close. Um, obviously I've got school and stuff, so that's, you know... Um, going to be a bit of an issue, but um, yeah, Hawaiian aircraft, I do plan to get a, maybe a 763, um, probably just one more 763, maybe even two, um, definitely some more 717s, I think those should be pretty helpful, um, plus they're not really that expensive, so I think two more 717s should really wrap it up, um, But and that will also wrap it up for H&L as well, so I think that's enough 717s at least, 
Um, I'll probably get more maybe for H and L because I've actually been there. Um, they've had, they've they've had like a bunch of seven one sevens, so um, I might have to get maybe like five more. But you know, I don't really want to spend most of my money on that. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can kind of get a discount somewhere. But um, another thing that I wanted to talk to you about is um, the split scimitars, which I'm planning on adding to a couple of my aircraft. But um, I don't know if Gemini will release one. I mean, even Phoenix. Um, I'm just interested to see if they're actually working on that. But if they are, um, I would be very interested to see what that looks like and you know what kind of material they're using for that. Um, because my plan was, I have a idle 737A100, which is kind of broken just because the landing gear, the glue that keeps the landing gear stuck on the actual, you know, um, bottom of the fuselage is actually um, worn off. So I can't actually glue the, um, the the main landing gear back on. So essentially, I have this idle 737A100 just sitting in my collection. So my plan is to take the winglet off that and somehow trim it so then it'll have enough space to add on another 738 of mine. Um, to make it have split scimitars, but you know this is just an idea that I've just been floating around. Like maybe if I get a 752, it might do the same thing. Um, you know, I need I just need some kind of thin material that I can kind of just add on. And um, then again, you do have to stick it on with glue and everything, so it may be a bit of a pain. But um, I, it's just a trial, and I you know I kind of do want to try it sometime soon. Uh, let me know if you guys have any other similar ideas or anything. Um, I would love some help with this kind of stuff, but you know. Um, I am a bit busy, of course. Like I said, I got school, so this is a bit of a busy time for me, at least. Um, but, you know, I will try and get it done, and I will let you guys know um, if I definitely complete it. But anyways, that's about it for this OGG airport update. Uh, I know it's about a seven-minute video, but um just wanted to do a quick little update on the airport. And I probably won't make another one until I get some more aircraft that are actually added into the airport. Uh, you know, it's just one of the smaller airports that I maybe think about expanding because I might get a couple of um, Aloha Air Cargo 732s. So, um, you know, I know the airport's just kind of full right now. Just about every gate's filled up, so, um, you know, I might want to get some more stuff. But, uh, anyways, that's about it. That's about to uh, wrap up this update. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like I said. Have any suggestions, um, just leave a comment down below. And um, do please help me try and reach. Um, 500 subscribers on YouTube that would really help me out. Um, essentially, that's exactly what I'm waiting for to release my channel trailer. Um, it is a bit of a pain. Like I said, I've got a bunch of school work, so it's kind of delaying me from doing ever um, some work on the laptop. So I'll try to get as much as I can um, done as possible, and I'll try to post it on Instagram to give you guys updates. But um, that's about it for this OGG report update. And I know I seem a bit sick. I've just got a bit of a nose problem as well as a throat one. So um, just getting back into the year. Anyways, thanks very much for watching, like I said, and um, this airport will probably be an airport that I do maybe every two to three months. Um, essentially, it's just not an airport that has changed, and um, you know, essentially when I get some new aircraft, that'll be the only time um, when I do a new update for it. But thanks very much for watching, and um, see you guys in the next one.